Hi everyone, welcome back to Hot Mike's Hotter Takes. I'm your host, Billy, with my co-hosts, Daniel and Ben. Today we're gonna to be talking about our predictions for um, the divisions in the NFL. So I think, um, I bet the Chiefs and um, the Bengals probably win the divisions. I think, um, I'm intrigued by the Jets. I think their acquisition of um, Aaron Rodgers could probably, it might make them a competitor. I think they could pull something off this year if Aaron Rodgers does well. So I think we'll see if he has something left in the tank. Ben, what do you think? I like the like to talk about the NFC North. The NFC North is completely up for grabs. You got teams like the Bengals, obviously an elite team, but then you have the teams like the Ravens and Steelers who could very easily knock off the Bengals. Then you have the team like the Browns, who we have no idea what they're capable of. Deshaun Watson coming off a pretty bad season after the eleven game suspension. Even that, we don't know what he can do. Um, I feel like Breaking news, Tom Brady returns to the football, joining Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys. Um, what do you guys think about this? That's wild. I, I can't say I didn't – I can't say um, I didn't not see that coming. I feel like Tom Brady needs football in his life. I think that – I mean, if Tom Brady is still good, I mean, he, I, if he's still got some left in the tank, I think he, that could help them win the division. I mean, I – it, it's kind of insane, I think. Ben, how about you? I find it pretty amazing that he was able to know that just off the top of his head, you know? Uh, Tom Brady, the Cowboys, pretty dumb decision. You have Dak. Tom Brady's pretty old, even though I do love Tom Brady. He is very old and probably pretty washed. He needs to be with his kids right now and not be in Dallas partying with the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Um, yeah, that situation with Dak Prescott and um, Tom Brady, that'll be interesting. I don't know how they're going to, like, work that out um but like i it'll be interesting seeing how they play both of those guys because i feel like they're both uh starters so it'll be interesting to see the competition for that starting qb spot i guess um, oh my brett Favre signs with the jets to take aaron Rodgers' job wow breaking news that's crazy. As we all know, Brett Favre played a little little scent with the Jets. Didn't go so well. Had a little controversy that I don't think we're allowed to talk about on the air. You know, uh, that that is really dumb. You know, he is. I guess he's trying to pay off the tax stuff that was happening in the off season. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. What do you think, Daniel? Uh, I think it's the dumbest signing of the year. Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, he's like 55. Uh, he's basically a senior citizen. So like. Um, I don't know what the what the point of this is, um, cause uh, he was like, he's about uh, he's not good. Uh, he's very washed. He should be at home uh, in Mississippi. Uh, yeah, and Aaron Rodgers is like about 36. He's pretty old too, but he can still play at least. But Brett Favre's been out of the league for 10 plus years. Brett Favre is old as hell. I oh wait, my bad. Um, I can't wait to watch his joints fail on national television during a play. I can't wait to see that on SportsCenter, not top 10. Um, so one of the wildest signings I've ever seen. All, it, it, it almost beats the Tom Brady thing. I mean, this is two guys who love football, and I get that. But, like, dude, you got to value your body, too. I mean, these guys are probably going to collapse on the field or something from age or whatever. I don't know. Brad Favre clearly values his body. If you know, you know. Uh, it's kind of crazy that both things happen at the same time. I would like to thank everyone for watching this. Uh, hot, hot Mike Hotter takes. We're sorry for the swearing done by him. I want to apologize for that. We'll talk to you next time.